So, another day, another lecture. Bit of a dull day here in Toulouse. Uh, so we're looking for Batimont 3A Sal G30, which is uh, pretty straightforward actually compared to some of the alphabet soup they invent for these places. So let's uh, flip this around and uh, go looking for some students, shall we? So here we go, I think this is the right room. And yes, here they are. Good morning, boys and girls. So I'm, I'm vlogging, vlogging. I've never done this before. Who wants to be on YouTube? Who wants to be famous? Hey, Sebastian, you want to be famous? Uh, hello. You can be clickbait, okay? So I'll put your, your image on the thumbnail and, and everyone will. Anyone else? Sophie, you want to be clickbait? Has anyone done the 4x4 four four <laughs> determinant? <laughs> Here's my blackboard. Here's my screen. Here's my window that doesn't have any blinds. And here's my public. Well, it's like probably about half of them. Torturing Students 101. I've got a bit of backlight here, so I'll move around, move around this side. Yeah. Yeah. You have to explain what you're doing as you do. <laughs> No, but you have to speak English. Your, your fans, right? right, right. Your fans on YouTube won't understand otherwise. Geophysical waves. The first one is very easy. And the second one will take you a bit longer because there's a few calculations to do there. So anyone have any final words for your international audience? I mean, you're all going to be super famous after this. You put your finger on the fretboard, so the frequency should be the same of the two strings. You pluck them together. Right? And it goes, woo, 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 it sounds horrible, right? So you think, oh no, that's not right. So you, you turn a bit, and then it goes, woo, 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 woo. And you turn a bit more, it goes, woo, woo, nearly there, just a little bit more. Then, woo, perfect, okay? Go to the next pair. And that's how you tune the guitar. And at the end, you pluck your bottom E string and your top E string, and they don't sound like they're two octaves apart. So you think, oh shit, this guitar is rubbish. I have to buy a new one. All right. And un unless you, you, you get it right, I'm not going to put it on uh, YouTube, so don't worry. <coughs> you can have a go as well if you want. <laughs> don't be afraid of the camera. I'll just edit it out. Don't worry. I'm not in a hurry. First day. It's all right if you get it wrong. I won't put it on YouTube if you get it wrong. You can just guess if you want. Yes, excellent, good man, thank you, save me. Right. That's pretty good, that's pretty good, that's, you've got the right idea, yeah? So, what, 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 can you explain what you've done? The short uh, wave men go uh, slowly, uh, whereas the long wave men... Uh, yeah, just between me and you, I'm talking now to the international audience, right? French, they don't have a word for shallow. They don't. They, they don't have a word for shallow. They, have a, they, they say deep and uh, a bit deep, right? A little bit deep, not very deep, right? So, so that makes it difficult if you want to talk about deep and shallow water. You've all been to the beach, right? And you've jumped in the sea, right? You know what it's like. What, what do you feel when you, apart from fear, what do you feel when, you, when a wave comes towards you? And then I'm going to be lifted up by the wave, and then the next... Well, hang on. No. Well, I'm going to start it again, because I forgot where the beach is. Yeah. God, I got totally confused there. I'm going to do this again. All right, start again. So if, has anyone done any scuba diving? You see the fish, you see them doing this. All right? It's not because they're all communicating and saying, oh, let's go over there. Oh, no, let's go over there. Oh, no, let's go over there. They're not doing that. I, I, I came on my, on my bicycle, so if you... All right, I think we need bicycle cam now. What we have here is a wheel, right? And this wheel is going round, 
And look at the valve. There's the valve, right? And the position of the valve in the vertical as the wheel goes around is described by a sine function or cosine function, right? You know that, okay? Now, let's wheel the bike along the, along the, the ground here. Where is it? Yeah. So at the bottom, right? Okay, let me follow it. It, come, it comes up. And I'm going to cheat a bit. I'm going to move around a bit. And it goes down. Right, so it goes from the bottom, comes up, goes down, boom. Comes up, goes down, boom, like that. That's not a sinusoid. That's called a trochoid, okay? So to understand the shape traced out by ocean waves, by sinusoidal ocean waves on the surface of the ocean, all we need to do now is roll the bicycle along the ceiling, right? So if I do that, then you'll see the shape of ocean waves. I'll let it stay on the ceiling. Okay, so there you go. It's this trochoidal shape, which is consistent with the trigonometric description of wave movement. All right, so so you get this. All right, so hello, Isabel. Uh, do, would you like to say hello to your M1 students? Everyone say hello, Isabel. Hello. All right. I'm going to stop talking for five seconds. So you can sit down as noisily as you want. Yeah, squeak the chairs. Go ahead. All right. Everybody okay with that? Shall we carry on then? All right. Every word you say is being recorded for posterity. Could you shut up at the back there, please? I can still hear you guys at the back. <laughs> So those are our new expressions for um, omega dash. Sorry, why did I say omega? Damn it, why do I keep saying omega? It's W. W. How long have I been saying omega? It's all right. It's, it is omega. This is omega. You, you, you know, you have to be very careful. Don't confuse omega with W. Driving along on the auto route. They're all being very sensible because most people drive very sensibly, keeping a decent distance between them, you know. Um, apart from this guy. He's an arsehole. He's got a BMW. Um, so he's right there. What we have here is a policeman. A right, French policeman. He's got a French policeman's hat. His job is also to count how many cars go past every minute. So, all right, my question for all you people is, what happened to all these cars then? There was 50 a minute going past here. How many, you know, let's say there's 30 a minute going past here or something, right? There's 20 cars a minute which have disappeared, right? Is there, a, it's like, maybe it's, maybe it's true. Maybe there's a flying saucer <laughs> that comes and picks up cars off the motorway, all right? It, that's what you're saying, right? All the cars that went past here, a few minutes later, they'll arrive here, all of them. So I want everybody to um, participate. I'm going to ask you to vote on whether or not you think it's a Rossby wave. So it's just yes or no. But everybody has to vote, right? Because we have to have a proper representation of your opinions. You know, I don't want people just to abstain. It's a big problem these days, right? Young people like you, it's your civic duty to participate in democracy. And if you don't, you know what happens, don't you? Right? Fascism, that's what happens, right? So, and this is a big problem in, around the world right now, especially young people like you, young educated people like you, you need to vote, right? And this, so, uh, you need to tell me whether or not you think there are Rossby waves on these planets. Right? Four, so we've got some more abstentions. You see, this is where popularism, <coughs> extremism, that's where it kind of slips in here, you see? We've got a number of abstentions here. You're not doing your duty. Oh, a divided electorate again, all right? Now, the difference between this election and political one is that I know the answer and, I, and there is a right and wrong and some of you are right and some of you are wrong okay well it's not so different actually um, all right let's do planet number six like that all right um, we can put that to the vote now that we have an educated um, uh, population so that's the other thing about democracy we've just seen that democracy does not work without High quality education, right? Now you've all been educated. Um, let's try. Well, if you like fruit, okay, you can use the fruit analogy. It's like an orange 
inside a melon, okay? Or if you like sport, you can use a sports analogy. It's like a football inside a rugby ball, okay? And uh, yeah, so if there's any Americans watching, a football is a spherical object, okay? Which you kick with your feet, and that's why the game is called football, all right? Imagine a football inside you, yeah, the long, pointy thing that's called a rugby ball, which means that the, the plane of the moon, moon's orbit is five degrees off from the plane of the Earth's orbit around the sun, which is a shame. It's a real shame, that, isn't it? Because wouldn't it be awesome if, if they were in the same plane? You know, what would happen if they're in the same, exactly the same plane, not five degrees out? We'd get a total eclipse of the sun every month. Wouldn't that be cool? And a total eclipse of the moon as well. And uh, so that's, you know, we're in the middle of winter, 21st of December, thinking about uh, Christmas holidays, right? So Christmas 25th of December, yeah? Is that a coincidence? What is, what is Christmas anyway? I mean, what, what does Christmas mean to you? The, when, you're, when you're a kid, it's Christmas is great, isn't it? Because it's very exciting because you get presents. And Christmas is all about receiving presents, right? And, and then when you get older, you realize that Christmas, it's not just about receiving presents, is it? It's also about eating and drinking as much as you possibly can, right? And, and, and um, especially drinking enough that you can bear to be with your family for several days in a row, right? So that's what Christmas really means. And, 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 and yet the, the question is, why? Why is Christmas on the 25th of December? Nobody knows. I mean, it's, it's just an accident of the calendar. I think originally they just decided it's going to be on the same day as a day that we're already having a party, which was the solstice, right? Pagan festival. And, and then with a few accidents of the calendar, it kind of drifted a couple of days, a few days. And it's, now it's on the 25th. No reason for that at all. Might as well have Christmas on the 21st of December. That's what I think. I think Christmas should be on the 21st because that actually means something. It's the, solst it's, it's the solstice, right? So then, that's the beginning of the holidays, right? Then New Year. What is New Year's Day, right? That's even worse. That's completely meaningless, totally arbitrary. I hate New Year's Day. What do you do? What do you do on New Year's Eve? You go out to some, <laughs> some kind of social event, right? And, and you're, you're just hanging around, drinking a, a glass of something. And you probably, if you're, if you're really unlucky, you probably have to talk to people. It's, like, it's just like, and you can't leave, right? Because everybody has to be there up until midnight, right? So, so you say, so yeah, it's like, yeah, I'm climate science. Yeah, climate change is real. Yeah, great. Brexit is a shit show. And, and it's amazing to have bilingual kids. They're so lucky. And, and then... And then you've run out of things to say, and you've still got two hours to wait before. And, and there's this arbitrary moment in the evening, right? Where, which is not even, doesn't even mean anything, right? Because there's not just one moment. There's like 38 of these moments around the world, right? And the 1st of January, what is that anyway? It doesn't, and so then this moment happens finally, you know, you're looking at your watch for the last two hours, and then you have to kiss everybody. God. Uh, I mean, people you don't particularly know definitely don't feel like kissing, kiss, kiss, right? And then, you, and then you, if you're lucky, you can go home, right, and go to bed, which is what you wanted to do for the last two hours anyway. But why do that on the 1st of January, right? It's, it's, it's uh, I mean, for most of us, the year really begins in September, right? Nothing particularly interesting happens at the beginning of January, right? And, and so I think, you know, we should at least do that also on a day which has some meaning, which is the 3rd of January. Just two days later, we're at the closest that we are to the sun, right? That's the perihelion, right? So, so if I get my way, Christmas 21st, New Year 3rd, we get an extra week of holidays, right? So I think it's a good proposal, and I think it should be adopted. And I'm going to go to the roundabouts and put on my yellow jacket and ask for if there's any Americans still watching 4th of July, you can go out and watch fireworks and you can celebrate the fact that you are the furthest from the sun that you're ever going to be. Right? So the time between uh, 
a new moon and a full moon, the time between these maxima in uh, tidal amplitude is about 15 days, right? So that's good. That's good for you French people because I know that you get confused about that. I mean, you, you say, uh, on va se voir dans 15 jours, right? And if I believe you, I'll be one day late for the meeting, right? Because what you actually mean when you say 15 jours is, is 14 jours, right? Why do you say 15 jours when you mean 14 jours? I don't know. It's a mystery, right? But in this case, you can actually say 15 jours, right? Because the time from a, from a full moon to a new moon or from a new moon to a full moon, it's about 15 days, right? And I think that that is the end of the course. So uh, I think that if you, if you like the course then everybody should give me like a like and a thumbs up, all right? All right, give me a thumbs up, everybody. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe. No. <laughs> Come on, guys. On to, after three, right? One, two, three. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> yeah, that sounds a bit sad. I'm sure you can do better than that, right? All right, well, Right, really put your heart to do it. One, two, three. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Yes, thank you. <laughs>